You're watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, a new treatment option, a new breakthrough in the treatment of sleep apnea. And if you are a person that is a loud snorer, I guess that's the word for it, then you have to hear uh, what my first guest has to say. He's an expert on this topic, Dr. Greenberg. Dr. Greenberg, welcome to the program. Thanks, Randy. Glad to be here. Now, before we get into today's topic, and I've got a lot, a lot, lot of questions, um, tell us a little bit about, I guess you have five centers, and all you do is treat snoring and sleep apnea. Okay. Correct. Okay. Yeah. No, absolutely. And Randy, the demand has been so great, we've had to expand. So we're in the San Fernando Valley in Encino. We go up to Valencia, over to Pasadena, down to Beverly Hills, and all the way down to Newport Beach. It's really been fantastic. And the result, I mean, you could take a person that is, uh, you know, they're known as a snorer, I guess, in their house, Correct. right? And no more snoring. Correct. Yeah, is this is all we do. You know, I, my background is as a dentist, but I stopped that about eight years ago when 100% snoring and sleep apnea because the demand was there and people were not doing it at this level. And, you know, I'm a guy. I need to kind of focus. I can't multitask. All right. And I can only do one thing really, really well. And snoring and sleep apnea, that's my passion. Some of the things like on your website, no more CPAP, things like that. Now, people that have a CPAP, right? Correct. You're, you have patients that you've been able to get off CPAP with just the appliance therapy? Absolutely. So many patients come to us because they can't wear the CPAP or they've tried it, it's not working. Uh, some people wear it at home, but they don't want to travel with it. So we have patients coming up to us for all those different reasons. And with the appliance and the appliance that I invented, uh, yeah, we can get almost everybody off the CPAP. And they're not aware of that. We're trying to get that message out because there is another option. People think okay. that's my only option. It's just a CPAP, but you know, a simple mouthpiece. But CPAPs work. CPAPs absolutely work. Okay. If you can tolerate a CPAP, they are fantastic. No problem with that. But it's where for those people that can't wear a CPAP or don't want to wear a CPAP. Now, we should mention, and, and people need to know it's a real interview. I'm just asking the questions here. I'm not trying to side with you or endorse you. But this is a pretty serious, I guess, uh, business that you have. I mean, thousands of people a week are getting these devices. Is, is that right? Yes, Randy. Okay. It's amazing that the demand, it's huge. And people now are understanding that there is a solution. And so it's fantastic, it really is. This problem is so significant. People don't understand. You know, if you have cancer, or you have a heart attack, you understand, your doctor says you have to go see this you know, doctor, this specialist, and get this treated. But when you have snoring, you don't realize how devastating that can be. You don't realize that it increases your risk of a stroke by a factor of four, increases your risk of a heart attack by a factor of three. You're going to gain weight. Okay, type two diabetes, it's hard to lose weight. So if you've, or if you've gained the weight, trying to lose weight if you're a snorer is next to impossible. So the whole idea, just so I understand this correctly, that if you have, like, if you have sleep apnea, right? Yeah. You think you're sleeping, but you're not sleeping. Or you think it's just a snoring problem, you don't even realize that okay. you're stopping breathing and that you have sleep apnea. So you wake up tired. You wake up tired. Do they tell you that? Absolutely. We have patients coming in all day, they're in my chair, they can't, they're nodding off on me as we're talking. Really? You know, they're, they're falling asleep. I had a patient that was in here and uh, in my office and she's talking to me and she's nodding off and she's going, doc, you have to help me. And I said, well, what do you do? She goes, I can't, I just, I'm on the road. I can't keep my eyes open. I said, well, what do you do? She goes, I drive the fuel tank trucks, the connecting ones, the, the two side by side. I said, oh my God. I said, we have to get you, I said, if you're not starting treatment, you need to tell me when you're on the road because I'm getting off. Okay. Okay. I mean, this is how serious this really is, and people don't realize it. So it's fantastic. That's why I'm so excited to be doing this show with you today. Okay. So, and, and, and you train doctors from all over the country on how to, 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 to do this sleep apnea treatment. Is correct. that correct? Oh, absolutely. You know, there's two things. One, I developed an appliance, a mouthpiece. So you're the inventor of the appliance. There are many appliances out there. Okay. My mouthpiece takes the best of both worlds and makes it more comfortable. So we get results at a higher level, typically, because we go, snoring and sleep apnea are about a big tongue and a small mouth. And it's about the tongue falling back, blocking the airway. 
Now, we have pa patients that will come into the office and go, you know, Doc, it's just my nose. It's not my mouth. It's not my tongue. And I go, well, how come you don't snore while you're awake? <laughs> because okay. the only thing that So they're breathing okay during the day. During the day, you're And only fine. at night, they have a problem. Right. So because what's, what's happening? At nighttime, our muscles relax. Our tongue's a muscle. That's why everybody knows when you're sleeping on your back, your snoring's worse. So what? The jaw's fading back? The tongue's fading back. And the jaw? The jaw come up, up, absolutely. With gravity, the jaw's going to come back and the tongue goes with it. So your appliance, what? Kind of holds the jaw in place, keeps the tongue in place? That works, but most of the appliances bring that jaw forward. My appliance brings the jaw forward like the other appliances, but it also goes directly after the tongue. So we've got an elastic that keeps that tongue from falling back, and that's been the huge groundbreaker. So the tongue doesn't touch this elastic. The elastic, as I've, I've looked at your website, is kind yes. of at the roof, at the higher part of this, so you're not gagging the whole time. Oh, absolutely. Okay. No, it's designed to be comfortable. And that elastic, it's kind of like a governor on a car engine. What it does is, if the tongue behaves, it's fine. If the tongue tries to go back to swallow, now that elastic will be engaged. But because it's an elastic, there's that flexibility. So again, it minimizes any issue with the gag reflex. But the success with that, and what that brings success-wise, is huge. So how soon does this work for snorers and sleep apnea? Randy, we have patients that come in, and the very first night, I get a call back the next day. In fact, I had a professional athlete, okay, pro football player, said, Doc, I've never woken up and had a woman next to me, my wife or anybody else next to me when I woke up in the morning because my snoring was so loud. They called me up the very next morning and said, Doc, I mean, this is a true story. They said, my girl, she woke up in the middle of the night, went looking for me. She couldn't <laughs> find me. She decided, forget it, I'm gonna go back to bed. And when she went back to bed, she saw I was lying there. In fact, she went over, put her head down to make sure I was still breathing. And when I was, she went back in bed, Doc, this was the first time anybody, I woke up the next morning, had a woman next to me. This is incredible. And we have that go on all the time. Uh, wives come in and tell me, you know, thank you so much. You know, this is incredible. Now we also have husbands because wives actually snore too. Okay. Women snore also. And they go, I can't believe what you did with my wife. This is amazing. And if that's not good enough, every single week we have patients that are so excited because they call me and they say, doc, I've got so much more energy. You know, this is like, I thought my snoring Why was, the energy? Why, why do they have more energy? They're getting what we call the REM sleep. One of the biggest issues is when you sleep, the REM sleep is kind of that sleep where you repair, your body repairs itself. It kind of cleans up the mess in the office. And so when you wake up, everything's now efficient, everything's filed nicely and neatly, and your body is really just humming. It's, it's really just right spot on. You ever wake up in the morning, sometimes you're just dragging, getting out of bed? Yeah. That's because you didn't get that REM sleep. When you wake up in the morning and you just jump out of bed, you are like just on it. You are like fired away. You go, I'm ready <laughs> it's true. for true. When anything. you get a good night's sleep, yeah, you wake up and you're ready to take on the world sometimes. Yeah, but sometimes you'll notice you can sleep for 10 hours, you wake up feeling awful. Okay? Sometimes you wake up after six hours feeling fantastic. That's because of the quality of that REM sleep. I told you in the, in, in the green room that when I have insomnia, uh, and every once in a while I get insomnia where I'm thinking or whatever, that the next day I'm, I, I'm hungrier, I'm edgy, I don't feel like going into work. Randy, that's what happens when you don't sleep. So many pe patients come in and they go, my doctor told me if I only lose weight, I'm going to be better. And they don't understand how critical it is actually to get the sleep. If you get that REM sleep, you get a good night's sleep, you will start to lose weight. 60 Minutes did a program where they highlighted this specifically. They took a young, healthy kid they, in his 20s, and they made him sleep in a hospital-type setting, and they didn't let him get his REM sleep. Well, within five days, he ended up having type 2 diabetes. They gave him his REM sleep away back, and the uh, diabetes went away. Now, the weight gain, okay, it's very, very difficult to lose weight if you're not getting quality sleep. And that's the snoring. You get rid of that snoring, my patients are that telling right? me that they lose weight. Randy, I had a patient, this was fantastic. He came in, now the staff led him back, and he meets me in the hall, and he says, Doc, do you, do you recognize me? And I looked at him, Randy, I was so embarrassed. 
<laughs> I mean, you know, obviously I was supposed to know who he was and I was just so embarrassed. So I, I said to him, I said, I don't. So there he is and he goes, think of me 60 pounds heavier. <laughs> and I looked at him and I said, oh my. I said, that's incredible. And he said, and, and this was a very, very successful businessman. And he said, I've been everywhere trying to lose weight. Not until your mouthpiece. I started with your mouthpiece. I started losing weight. And now look at me. He goes, I walk every morning. He goes, it because is Because they have the energy now. I yeah. have the energy. I've lost the weight. My grandkids, I can pick up. I can play with them. I was like, I, traveling. I didn't want to go traveling because, you know, that means walking. I didn't want to walk. I couldn't walk. He goes, now I can actually eat they're again. tired all the time. Yeah, I was tired. And he was always on a diet. He couldn't enjoy food. He goes, now I'm eating. I'm eating more than I ever did. And I'm losing weight. So the mechanism, you know, we have medical doctors on the show. And this is a big topic that they are pushing right now is you've got to see one of these doctors that makes an appliance. That's why we had you on the show. Right. Uh, but they're saying it raises stress hormones like cortisol, things like that. So you can't lose weight because of those, you know, yes. some fact, of those Randy, problems. Randy, University of Chicago Medical School did a great study because we're talking about leptin levels, ghrelin levels. You know, leptin, what leptin does is leptin, leptin is the body's appetite suppressant. Okay. Here's the way leptin works. I love McDonald's fries, okay? So I'll go get a large order of fries and I'll start eating them and they're amazing. Okay, really good, McDonald's should yeah, give me a, a fee for them. <laughs> but about halfway through, if my leptin levels are normal, I go, you know what, they're cold, they're soggy, I'm full, I leave them. If your leptin levels are low, which is what happens when you don't get REM sleep, you eat all the fries and on top of that, you're still hungry. And the pizza and everything else. And the pizza and everything else. So what University of Chicago Medical School did in this study, they just cut everybody's sleep to four hours, nothing else. That four hours, that cut, reduced their leptin levels to such a state. So they were hungrier. They were hungry. The carbs, all the carb craving, okay, the pizzas, the breads, the Cheetos, the popcorn, all that are low leptin levels. And so you've got like two, three strikes against you when you're not getting your REM sleep, when you're snoring is interrupting that. Now, here's a concept I came up with. When I watched the 60 Minutes piece, secondhand snoring, okay? Second, we talk about secondhand smoke. If you're sleeping next to somebody who is a loud snorer, they're interrupting your REM sleep. Yeah, you can't sleep either. You can't sleep, so therefore, you're overeating as well. So all these spouses that are gaining weight because they're sleeping with their husband who snores, they're gaining weight because of them. It's actually fat. And they're tired too. And they're tired, they're exhausted. Okay, so yeah, no, this is so So people so tell huge. you these stories, because you say, I mean, you told me, you say, Randy, we are transforming people's lives every day. Oh, Randy, this is incredible. You know, I loved cosmetic dentistry. I treated celebrities before, but when I transitioned to treating sleep, this was so easy, because the impact, people come to me and they tell me how much I've changed their lives. I had a teenage daughter come into me with the mom and said, thank you for saving my dad's life. And I said, you know, thank you, I appreciate that, but you know, you're making this bigger. And she said, no, I'm not. My dad's brother passed away a year ago from a massive heart attack. And my dad was 12 months behind him. I know we were going to lose my dad. And now, my dad's a different man. He's losing weight, he's got more energy, he's so much fun. You literally, you saved his life. Well, Randy, when somebody comes and tells you that, when it comes Sunday night, you know, very often people, they have to go to work Monday. They don't want to. I love going to work Monday because this is what I do. So would you say that there's, because you have these five centers in, in, in LA, Orange County, things like that. Would you say that there's hundreds of thousands of people that are loud, loud snores or have sleep apnea that could be helped by this device? Really? And they just don't know about it? There are millions of people. There's 40 million people with sleep disorders. There's 90 million people that snore. And that number, because of the obesity rate growing, and also baby boomers getting older, where they're losing muscle tone. So the, because, because people are getting older and they're gaining weight, this thing is in epidemic proportions. So there's millions in, of in people. In a way, is this a quick fix? Absolutely. Because they're breathing okay. They, they lay down at night, their jaw and their tongue fall back blocks the airway, and you're saying you open that up with the custom-made device, Yeah, and they're no more snoring. It's life-transforming. It does sound simple. It is. It's Mechanics 101. 
You keep that. I always tease patients. I go, you know, if I take a fishing hook, grab the tongue, tie it to a bedpost, you're cured. But I've had no volunteers. <laughs> it's that simple. And so the mouthpiece does that. When I have patients, they're fine with their CPAP machine, but they travel so much, they're on an airplane, they know they snore. And they don't snore a little bit. I had a woman, executive, six-figure income. She's in Europe twice a month. She said, because, and she always flies first class. She goes, I wake up, I am so humiliated that now I have to take uppers so I don't sleep on this long flight. I have to sleep the whole day when I get there. She goes, I'll pay you $100,000 if you can get rid of my snoring. Randy, okay. we made the appliance. I said, you don't have to pay me the $100,000. 50000 I hope I, you at least nice. $50,000. No. But... And they're affordable. I mean, these are not expensive uh, no, devices. No, absolutely affordable. Every person can afford it. Okay. Absolutely. So if somebody, and we're going to take a quick break. We yeah. come back, I want to know what that consultation's like. Uh, how soon you know in that consult whether somebody would be a good candidate. Especially, you say you treat the tough ones. So somebody's been on a CPAP five years. Right. And it's working. Yep. And they've tried other things. Maybe they tried another device, a, a mouthpiece, right, sure. and it didn't work. I want to know why yours is a little bit better or different. You're watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez. We'll be right back. I would say that when she was in her early 40s, she started snoring. <laughs> so about five years ago. It's been about eight years that Juan's had a sleeping problem. It led to snoring. Um, it gradually, it just got progressively worse. I would elbow him or I'd push him. I would push him because it would stop him from snoring and then he'd start up again and then I'd push him again and on and on it went through the night. So I went down to uh, Dr. Greenberg's office in Encino, uh, watched his videos and he very nicely told me about what, what was going on inside of me and possibilities of what he could do to, to make my life better. So now after I started wearing the Zipa RX device, I found that I must have been getting better sleep because I had a lot more energy during the day. I wasn't getting tired in the afternoons as much anymore. So I think it helped me with my sleep. And her mood was much better. It's always good. Okay, it's always good. It was good before too. The Zipa has changed my life in many ways, but the most notable is I wake up in the morning, I'm totally recharged, she looks happier because she's not staying up all night listening to me. I was really excited because when I woke up in the morning, I, I felt good. He said I hadn't snored. He felt good. Um, I didn't have any pain in my jaw or anything, and it, it was pretty remarkable. The very first night that Juan used the Zipa was the very first time in eight years that I slept throughout the night. It was wonderful. Yes, it was. The first night that she used the Zipa RX, I got the best night's sleep that I've had in five years. Yep. I cannot live without Zipa. I cannot live without Zipa. You're watching the Wellness Hour. Brandy Alvarez, today's topic, uh, no more snoring. And if you have been diagnosed with sleep apnea, or if you've been told you need to get a CPAP, you got to hear what my, my, my first guest has to say. It's Dr. Greenberg. Dr. Greenberg, uh, welcome back. So these device therapies. Okay, so one of the things that you say is that they're not all created equal. That means there's Devices that just move the jaw forward, which you say work. Correct. Like 70% of the time, maybe. Yep. But they don't address the tongue that falls back. Correct. And yours does. Right. So there's really nothing else in the market that addresses the tongue? Yeah. My appliance is the only hybrid, what I call hybrid dental appliance out there. Now, I was fortunate. My undergraduate degree was in biomedical engineering. And so when I first started treating sleep apnea, I was frustrated because a lot of the appliances out there that you only move the jaw forward, which is about 99% of them, they were not having the success that I wanted to have. I mean, I don't like to lose. Because you did that in the old days, I think right. you told me. I started with that, absolutely. Okay. And I was unhappy because I never like to lose. I always want to win. My kids know how competitive I am, <laughs> okay? They, they, you know, I was not letting them win. I was not a PC dad, okay? okay? I had to win. Well, I feel the same way with my patients. I have to win with my patients. And that's why we say we treat the tough cases, as you said. So. I was fortunate, I pulled my biomedical engineering degree off the shelf and I said, let's come up with something that's going to work pretty much all the time. So you designed okay. a better mouthpiece. Correct. You say it's more comfortable. Correct. And so, that's what we do. So we both bring the jaw forward and we go after the tongue to keep it from falling back. So, so sometimes, you know, people, the jaw might be a little tender, 
people sometimes talk about TMJ issues. Well, this pretty eliminates those, pretty much eliminates those issues. So we can get at that, we can get them better. That's the goal is when somebody comes in, I mean, I had a woman coming in from San Diego. She was told she needed a CPAP, she was severe sleep apnea. And she begged me, she said, I've tried a bunch of CPAP machines, I've tried the masks, I've tried it all, nothing works. She goes, you need to treat me. And I said, what do you mean nothing works? Because CPAP, CPAPs do work, right? Not for her. Okay. She couldn't wear them, she couldn't tolerate, and even when she wore them, the results were not great. Okay. And she said, doc, you have to help me. And I said, look, these other things didn't work, especially the CPAP, I'm not sure that I can actually help you. She said, I don't care, you have to help me. She was in tears. So Randy, I said, okay, we're going to do it. All right. Now, she took a while, okay, absolutely. She was one of my tougher patients. you had patients. to adjust the, the mouth. Yes, tons of adjustments. But we finally got her there, okay? When we got her there, in fact, her physician didn't believe. We did a sleep test to make sure we got her there and with the results were where we thought they were. The, her physician did not believe I could do it with a mouthpiece. So he said, I'm going to do my own sleep test with her. His results were even better than my results. He says, and it was down at Scripps Hospital down here in San Diego. And, you know, he goes, I need to have you come down and lecture to my doctors. Is that right? Because this is incredible. I've never seen results like this with a mouthpiece. So, yeah, we can do some tremendous stuff. But it only starts when somebody comes into the office. Now, here's a great story. Okay. I came in. I was interviewed by a TV station, local TV news. I came in, and the reporter goes, you really do exist. And I said, you know, well, of course I do. And he said, my wife has been telling me to come into, I've heard your radio ads, and my wife has been telling me to come in to see you for years. About so, the no more snoring. About no more snoring. Okay. And she goes, and, you know, and I just, I thought it was going to be some kind of cold center where I didn't have personal attention, and I didn't realize you actually do exist. And he goes, okay, so I'm coming in. Of course, he became a patient. And, you know, one of the things that, he's, that struck me with what he said is, we, our focus in our office is about that personal, high-touch, high-caring uh, But did the snoring go away? Yes, of course it went away. That, that, that's just given. Did they say, why did I, you know, how can you come to me about see this? me? I mean, did it, they say this? Like, why didn't anybody tell me about this? Well. Because it does sound, you know, attractive. I mean. Well, of course it is. The, the, and that's, that's, why, that's why you're interviewing me now is so we can <laughs> get the word out. Because so many people, doctors are used to where before there wasn't a good solution. They were used to the typical mouthpieces. They were used to what's going out there. This is a brand new industry, and we are making such strides. It was only in 2006 when the Academy of, American Academy of Sleep Medicine, the AASM, okay, which is like the AMA yeah, yeah. area for sleep medicine, they said mild to moderate sleep apnea, mo the, the number one choice okay, is now a mouthpiece. It's no longer a CPAP machine because it's, the mouthpiece is so much more comfortable and they weren't even talking okay. about my mouthpiece. Now, now we are, okay, so the mouthpiece works, right? Yes. And scientifically, can you prove it? Because I know they do sleep studies and there's numbers of how many times you wake up per hour and we're short on time, but do you have before and after like comparative studies that you can prove that this is working? Because medical doctors will watch this show yes. and they're gonna say, well, what do the sleep numbers or whatever they're called say? Absolutely, Randy. We, every single patient, we are because where people know about us and they see us, guess where the doctors go when they get diagnosed with sleep apnea or have a snoring problem? They come to me, okay? Because they okay. don't want to wear a CPAP themselves. All so right. the, to answer your question, yes, every single patient says a before sleep study and an after sleep study. 100% of our patients. Otherwise, it's like doing cancer and not making sure you're better. This is, we absolutely have to be, it's the protocol. We always do a sleep study afterwards so that you see these results. Just, oh, this is important. Okay. Just because your snoring is gone doesn't mean your sleep apnea is gone. Really? Yes. So if you had surgery uh, and, or you tried another mouthpiece or did something and they didn't do a sleep test, you better get a sleep test. 25% of our patients where the snoring is gone, they still have sleep apnea. Now, what do we do? We just need a few more adjustments. And With we the do tongue, those you adjust the tongue. Yes, we adjust the tongue, and then we get them better. So we'll get them better, but you need to just not, just getting the snoring away is not the whole solution. Okay, so, and by the way, you're hard to find on the internet, right? Because <laughs> you're the only Dr. Greenberg that's spelled with a U. Is that's that right? exactly correct. Like, what happens is if you go to the internet, you look under Dr. Greenberg, 
people typically put ERG and they won't find me. It's B-U-R-G, so it's Greenberg with a U. We are out of time, but um, I, I guess men get this more than women. Is that right? Actually, the women are pretty close. It's about 60, 40 in my office. And the reason is women are not supposed to have gas. They're not supposed to kind of belch or burp and they're not supposed to snore. But guess what they do, okay? Men a little bit more, but for women, this is a big problem as well. Okay, so if, if the partner is watching this, either, either side, yes. and they have got a, 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 a spouse or whatever that is snoring, they need to maybe even call and make an appointment. They do. For their partner. Absolutely. You know, and Randy, Does that ever happen, by the way? Most of the time. It's most always the, the partner time, that calls? Most of the time it's the wife that's calling for her, their husband to come in. Gotta uh, drag you know, him in. And here's, here's part, something else that's really important. When they come in for the consult, and we do 45 minutes to an hour consultation, so I mean, we're going to explain everything to you. You know, we, you, when you leave, you will not have any questions, okay? This is, as I said before, high touch, real personalized type of okay. treatment. And I want both spouses there. So if you're married, I want both, both spouses to come because okay. it's hard, you know, the person who's got the problem, they're sleeping. They don't know what's going on Or they think the they're sleeping is what you're saying. Is yes. that right? They so think if you have sleeping. sleep apnea, you're waking up and that's why you're so tired in the morning. Exactly. Exactly. This, this seems uh, it's like everybody should be talking about this. They should. That there's everybody a, a, a knows way to somebody, take care of it. Everybody knows somebody who snores. And it's just taken care of like that. Okay, in a perfect world, and we are out of time. Somebody watching this, uh, and they snore loudly. Uh, they, 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 maybe they've been told sleep apnea. If they come into your office today, how soon can they get fitted and ready to go where their snoring's gone? Need to do a sleep test to see if it's snoring or sleep apnea. We can send them home with a sleep test that night. Okay. So they get that back very quickly. Then we do the consultation based on the results. We take an impression, get the appliance made. A couple of weeks later, they've got the appliance. And we're good. This is great stuff. We are out of time. Okay. Final message. Somebody watching this, and they are skeptical. They're saying, you know, maybe it sounds like an exaggeration. Yeah. Uh, or somebody says, hey, my husband is the loudest snorer in the world. There's no way he can do this. Or, or somebody that says, hey, my CPAP I've been using for five years. Are they too far gone? What do you say to those people? Come in. You've got nothing to lose. There's no charge for the consultation. I'm going to show you. We'll demonstrate during your consultation why and how this works. Okay, good. I want to thank you for coming on the show. Very good. Randy, very thank you very much. You've been watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.